Impact is an initiative to bring attention to women esports players. You could see like uh, how excited it made everyone, and that's something that was really nice for the scene, and it kind of encourages a lot more women to be playing. You can already see with Impact, there's a lot of more women players, a lot of more women teams, and orgs like wanting to get into it too. In, in general, not a lot of like opportunities or like even tournaments to play. You know, why would you even want to be a female uh, CS:GO pro? If we could just get like the community like interested in it, make sure that we have like a lot of uh, interesting storylines that people are excited to watch and you know talk about. Uh, when role models exist, it's usually uh, gender to gender. It's not going to be like different gender. Usually, I'd say you know it's important that there's like women players, you know, like Anna and stuff that you know casual women players can like see like oh she's like owning and like the Impact League like maybe I can also be this good and, and try. Um, if, if maybe there was like more chances, more opportunities, maybe they would like grind more and, and reach a higher level. And I think this is exactly what we need. We need more female tournaments. We need, because of this, we will see more female players. Because of fe more female players, we will see more competition. And the more competition will always make the players stronger. It was uh, super year, I would say. We proved many times that we can compete on the highest level in the uh, women's scene. It sucks, but everyone played really good. Yeah, like, yeah, it's hard not to be disappointed, but you gotta just keep moving forward, keep getting better. It was a strange year for us. <laughs> we made a lot of change, but I think it's ending well. <laughs> uh, not now, not now. I'm just mad at the whole thing being so hard. Don't push other people, don't do my job. 100% a very turbulent year, to be honest. Everyone is getting really close to us, but let me tell you this. We're never gonna f***ing lose until we stop playing Counter-Strike. This f***ing game. It's about time they f***ing lost, you know? Just watching so many new teams, new players and new fans get involved throughout the course of the year. You see them all on social media, you see everyone rallying behind it. That gets me really excited because that's what we do this job for. It's why we watch Counter-Strike, it's for that passion. And we've got to see it just grow over the course of the year. First tournament of the year was Katowice in Poland. Very special tournament for me. So epic because this was the first tournament that I won with Bad Monkey Gaming in 2015. <laughs> I really like the set this time. So. It's insane. Yeah. We traveled really far. I think it was about 23 hours, including transit. But I mean, the girls have been waiting for a scene like this for a long time, and they look at the end result where we are and what's happening here. It's all worth it, you know? Katowice was my favorite tournament I played so far. The crowd was amazing for us. When I'm talking about this, I have like ghost bump. She's definitely in two minds aware that this could be a possibility. Olga steps out, but Viku's that little bit faster. Razor sharp, focus is in. Yeah, <laughs> she's hitting every shot. Oh, it's oh, one Viku, one of the best in the world. Five in a row, it's not fantastic, but what doesn't matter? Adelka, blind, ends the round. Na'Vi Javelins dominate Furia. I think that's the key point, right? This was not close <laughs> at all. Q is pretty long, to be honest, so I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Navi Javelins will win this year, so impact. Yeah, I'm agree with you. I'm very glad that we have uh, such good teams with women, and we can watch uh, how we're playing. And that's really great. Yeah. I usually uh, love to follow Navi and Furia, 
and same for female team. I don't know if it's prohibited for women to play with men, but I would like mixed teams really to happen someday. Because I'm playing CSGO for 10 years, I'm playing with my sister, she's standing there, she's playing very good and I would like to have a professional team with her and I would like for other people to have the same opportunity, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting more hyped up that so many people like us and what our signing and they will cheer for us for sure. down to this each team getting their respective map pick which means vertigo is going to decide which team is going home keep the teamwork up everyone's doing really well you're doing good keep up the comps guys okay yeah. keep it loud baby three two one see yeah, you together we'll the smoke on through victorious things on out can't quite connect the shots but fatal does now bomb it is quite being diffused yet and they're gonna have to get on it through firing through the smoke and they're running out of bullets Taddy's just getting in there with a knife but no one's diffusing trying to stick it on now and somehow the last bullet connects Taddy is unbelievable nine pad is fearless have developed so much as a roster in such a short space of time and now they eliminate one of the favorites in CLG Red. I mean, disappointing is an understatement, but we still had a lot of good things coming out of every land and everyone still worked the result. It's not the result we wanted, but everyone played really good. I still mean that even though Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just honestly in the end just said go next. So we had lost to B4 and then we had to play them again at the loser bracket. And we're gonna kill everybody. GFI is able to escape the bomb gets planted. GFI though does deny more and knows that Julie was on towards the bomb site. Swaps to the FAMAS GFI again. We're gonna plant on the other side of the pillar and Poppin swings in through. Gets one looking for Hazel as well. Everyone is in Poppin's crosshairs and they're all falling. We going through to the semis. That was not the best performance by us. This, this is a very eye-opening series. Maybe the region needs new faces, you know. I didn't manage to, to help the girls. The consistency was not there, so that was kind of a tea for us. Oh, I, I, it's like I'm, I'm about to eat something tasty, you know? That's yeah. <laughs> I, I don't give a shit. They can hear it. <laughs> Is this the time for Furia to take one over Nick Galaxy and make their way to the finals? semi-final was a final in itself and there's more counter-strike to come today. My hands are f***ing yeah. shaking so I'm much. I'm so sweaty, dude. Anna, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for bringing us to the finals with you, okay? <laughs> Feels like a final written in the stars. Going into the final against Nigma, we thought uh, we're gonna beat them, actually. We're really confident. Obviously, we lost, but we saw a lot of potential. We knew we didn't lose to ourselves. Katowice was like, uh, hey, it was a really, really good start of the year, but then they started to go down. <laughs> Coming back from Katowice, I had the thoughts of retiring for some time already. And after I went back to Asia, I told my boss, this is what it is, and he offered whatever that could buy me out from my retirement. Name a player that you wish to play with. Name me the price and I'll get her. So that's how that came in. 
things needed to happen, and I, I got this chance, you know. And I just, I just think, why not? Let's go. <laughs> Was it the easy choice? No, of course not. It's like leave my country, you know, different culture. So I just catch that and I say, yes, let's do it. After all the quitter team, we bring Gabs back. She was retired from two years and we didn't have time to prepare to qualify for Dallas and we lost. But we learned a lot about a lot of things like uh, being patient and respect the process and everything like this. CLG Red dropping us came out of the blue. It was just crazy. We had no idea it was coming. It was out of nowhere. My mind went in a lot of areas. I think you can't help but to feel a bit depressed <laughs> in those moments. We were desperate, we were reaching out, and we wanted to stay as a team. It was a bit scary, like whether we would make the deadline or not for our visas. That would have meant like potentially never play like international CS again. Jerseys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't show us the jersey until like an hour ago. I'm extremely excited for the announcement. I am so excited. <laughs> so Miss Harvey, she was everything. She was fighting tooth and nail. Fortunately, FlyQuest came in and essentially saved us. So we can go back to focusing on Thanks Yes. When it comes to women being able to make it to the big stage, I think having women's tournaments and being giving them a comfortable place to get used to what is, for anybody, a high-stress environment, I think is a really good, important signaling point. I think it also encourages a lot of other young girls and women out there to want to pursue something that in the past might have been perceived as a male-only opportunity. So I think role models is so, so important, and that's why having Miss Harvey as the director of the RED program is going to be an amazing thing. That's so, uh, Olga, how's your new team going? It's pretty good. We have a few time working together, but I'm, I'm fitting very well in the team. They are making everything to make me feel comfortable nice. and still play my role, you know, so. That's good. Five years ago, I was learning Chinese by myself because I, I wanted to, to know more about this, this culture, you know. So it's something like kind of a dream coming true, you know. You were qualified to the, the finals. You just gave the answer for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did the right job. The first thing to say about it is not like see it like Fura didn't get it this lot because I was not there. Because even before I joined Fura, I never could win against them, you know. It was kind of if you cannot beat them, join them. Because I just won against them once. So for them it was just they just need to be themselves again, you know. We brought another superstar to the team, hoping to evolve the team to a higher tier and then uh, bringing in the younger talent to show the committee that, look, everyone can make it to the main roster, to a good team, if you work hard and you have the talent, of course, for it. Of course, opportunities are to go, to go as further as we can, but we have a tough group. Coming out of it would be, would be the goal for us. Right? We have a new strat, uh, Oku Kuki. <laughs> Devastating defeat for HSG, it's back to the drawing board. Everyone is nervous. Naomi, she's 19 years old, she's our first uh, academy player and it's the first land. Seeing how she did, I'm very proud of her. And we're not done yet. Every single loss is not lost, it's a learn to know that how, how we can come up here again tomorrow and to do better. We plan for things and sometimes things don't go according to plan. And when they don't go according to plan, we have to adapt at our best. We're about to have our elimination match between HSG Esports and Black Dragons. The losers are not going to have a good day after this. Yeah. I don't know what the hell is happening right now, but then we're not playing CS. 
Yeah, I will try to control her a bit. She says she cannot hear. No so. need, no, it's not cannot hear. She's uh, panicky. Uh, no, mid was not ready. But I can't, I can't blame her. I was just mad that things couldn't align at all. Play your game. There is no one playing in the game. Why are we like this? She has an excuse. She's new. She's the first man. The first map, she's crying ready. Who plays Counter-Strike and cry? No one. No one plays Counter-Strike and she's cry. She's scared. Yeah. I'm just mad at the whole thing being so hard. Don't push other people. Don't do my role. Don't do my job. Play your game. Go there and play your best. Yeah. I felt bad for Olga and I keep telling myself, you know, like, if it's this hard, then what's the point? But at the end of the day, you know, if you, you do it for the love of the game, that's what matters most, you know. Even for the guys, right, the, the new player who is added to the team, this, this player, the guy, he has so much pressure because he has to fill in the role for someone who he is replacing, right? And he is like already like professional player, signed uh, by others organization for many years, and he has to be in the spotlight. Uh, if there's going to be a female player who gets in the, the Taiwan team, I cannot even imagine the pressure that she's going to she will have to carry. I think it's it's going to be a lot of pressure, not just because of her or because of the team or organizations. It's more like the the viewers. And if she performs bad, then the reason would not be because she had a bad day or because she, like something, I don't know, like she just had a bad game. No, but because she's a female player and she doesn't deserve to be on, on this exact team. I think every game, for some reason, has a, a toxic side to it where they don't think uh, women can be good enough. Like, you know, see toxic comments like, why do they get paid or whatever? Like, oh, I can play the same. But obviously, like, it's just bullshit, really. Uh, I think when uh, women uh, have been on this female scene, uh, we are used to this hate, uh, pressure from men, from uh, like everyone basically. I think it, we're, they can be really, really hard to deal and say a lot of mean things and we need to be uh, like mental, uh, mentally good because it's, it's really hard to do. Uh, I think it's just unwelcoming like unfortunately i don't know why but men are just so unwelcoming in in esports we've been facing uh, pressure and hate for so long that now i can, i i think is the little uh, problem i think the the biggest thing when it comes to impact and how the teams are like bridging the gap to get to mix competition is it's literally just like a safer place for them to learn how to play Team CS. Hopefully in the future we'll see not just one but many female players playing in this kind of teams. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for Impact I wouldn't have met like my first uh, like coach like Flashy like in CLG. He, I, I wouldn't have learned uh, like small things in how to watch demos and stuff like that. So literally just having ESO Impact existing is just really important. You know, we got the formula going, we're playing our game, so just remember that. Let's focus on what we're doing right as well. Yeah, and trust each other. If someone is calling something, just do it. Even if you think it's not the right call, just do it. We can talk about it after the match, right? I want you to focus on one specific thing, rotations. F***ing instantly. You have info, you are out of there. Be dynamic all the time. Let's go! FlyQuest invested a lot in us. We wanted to just do everyone proud and we had our rematch against Nine Pandas. Uh, we lost to them twice, first in Katowice and then second in the first stage in Dallas. I think everyone's confident this time around. We're rocking. Let's go, FlyQuest! 
Your voice, NA, needs to be heard very loudly for the girls in FlyQuest. Fly on three! One, two, three! People are communicating and all the pieces are just aligning. I think we really surprised them. People are calling for mid rounds, reset, like cancel, like we, we have to do this. We're making adjustments to how they're playing, we're reading the game, we're just playing together. Flyquest Red have finally done it! The goose is loose! That was the first time we saw our very, like, A game. And even though we didn't make it to finals or anything, we still had our rematch against Nine Pandas. We all still feel it in our bodies that we can play like this again. Nine Pandas tamed and released back into the wild, sent back in here in Dallas. Two Donut, one Berettas, and uh, two Cheetah, one Berettas yeah. close, one baiting and one long uh, picking banana. Perfect, yeah, let's do that. Anna will tag, they'll rush Anna, and you will kill everyone, yes? So you're just close, right side, ready then to act. And uh, Sasha, just get, play Joker on, uh, with, uh, together with Vilga, yeah? Vilga will, will, will tell you where to go. On Tori, just start mid, throw, maybe throw HE, maybe smoke deep mid, doesn't matter, yes? And then you can gamble towards me. Come, 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 come. Everyone, everyone. Yes. G, 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 G,
It, it was her dream and we supported her, but for my team, we needed to make big changes. Have you missed this? Yes, I missed. Uh, we were not in Dallas. In Dallas, is a, have, a, have a lot of Brazilians, so it was really sad to not be there. <laughs> I think you can be a little closer with the mic. <laughs> what do you think? I don't think you're close enough. I don't even think I'm speaking loud enough, maybe. <laughs> well, 2023 has been, I wouldn't say a disappointment, but it's been a really good f***ing try from us. Wait. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Well, now we're Fluxu, so it's really good to have this feeling that we're in a new organization and they are really supporting us, so we're really happy and just trying to win and get this dream come true. It's so cool. It feels good to be like, you know, in, in good shape, you know, but still we need to beat Enigma to be the best, so it's our goal to, for this tournament. We will do uh, everything to, to do it. This one, not an album stream. As my family is here, I'm really happy and feeling confident. So I think I'm gonna bring a lot of good plays and aggressive plays. How does it feel to go up against the reigning champions? Really proud, just that. That's why I feel like... <sighs> It's a battle of epic proportions. Enigma Galaxy, can they be taken down? Pop into the clutch then. This would be a fantastic way to cap off what would be a great victory. That's the first part done. Quick reload and it's down to Poppins and Anna. Two stars from their respective teams. Little jump at sound cue given by Poppins. She's got 36 seconds to wait. Sub 30 now for her to make her play. And that's a massive headshot. Poppins takes Flux though straight to the semi-finals in outstanding fashion. I think no one expected us to drop this map and to go to the lower bracket. First time for everything. Yeah. Actually one of our best maps, at least in CSGO. I don't know what happened, we lost, we got owned, we got destroyed. We felt this pressure, unnecessary pressure, and everyone was scared to do the moves. Everyone was scared to do some individual plays, and basically we just lost. We just lifted each other up and say like, hey, it's not over yet. Tomorrow is a new day and let's prove them that we can come back. And then we did the interview with the girls. Yes, when I talked to these girls about my career and about the problems that we we having, it was like crucial for me because uh, through them I can totally see that my job matters, that everything I do is for a reason, and hopefully in the future I can help someone. I can, you know, lift someone up that tries to be in the same scenario that I'm right now. Don't be shy, guys. You can ask anything, honestly. Like, we are all been here where you were, so just ask anything. Um, did you find any difficulties since this game world is mainly ruled by men? <laughs> Who wants to answer it? I mean, for me personally, at the beginning, it was kind of difficult to like be focused as a female player in a, like a male community. So I just tried to not focus on it that much. Like I knew my goals from the beginning. I knew that I want to show people that, that it doesn't matter the gender, the religion and so on. So I really tried to focus on my best and show and prove to people that even like a girl can, can do such great things, especially in the esports scene. I think it's all about finding the community with the like-minded people who have to just be there for each other and understand each other. That's the most important thing. And it's like with everything you do in your life, if you want to achieve something, you need to, first of all, love what you're doing. Second of all, you need to put a lot of time into it. And we just lost the game, by the way. We just <laughs> lost the game. But tomorrow we're going to continue. We're going to grind back and we're going to get the sixth win. Thank you for this. Muchas gracias por todo. It was nice, it was great. I think it's actually really cool that we 
have this opportunity to do it now, after we lost. We mostly like talk between each other and to them, and it felt like, yeah, we were opening up to each other. Yeah, like we had the, the sports psychologist meeting, <laughs> and we were like just talking to each other, and I feel like this kind of thing, it actually united us and brought us together. And I feel that this pushes me to do greater things and to keep my dream alive and to keep playing and doing like great, great results uh, for the team. So it's really, really important for me that this happened. No, yeah. it's nice to be uh, like a person others look up to and be an example. You, you want to like work more on yourself to be a better person. Here in Valencia, we started off with a boot camp. We were playing like really high level teams and we were doing like insane. We were looking really solid, but now we have to go claw our way up like we always have to, it seems, in these events. So it's like, whatever, you know, we've done it before. Like, let's claw our way back up, you know, one BO3 at a time. After Dallas, we had a players break and then we straight away go into the drawing board again try to fit the pieces. The thing is that having Olga and having all these things is really good on the outside. Everyone's looking, it's very good. But we need a square and somehow now we have a round. That's the process. We have to go through it. Olga is an athlete. We're players. So we're trying to get there. So that's what we shown today on the stage. Play to win. We're better. They're the ones in their pants. So if we play with balls, we play decisive, we'll be good. Okay? Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's go. Can Olga and Shao please just be together? No, no Lao Liu, no nothing. Can. And Hazel, you cannot just talk like, I cannot hear. You need to be firm. Sup, I'm coming. This, that, this, that. You know, ma. One, two, three, four! Damn, goose, damn! HSG looking refined, looking fantastic, and looking like a team that can take on Titans. Hey, I believe in you guys, yeah. Our A game is so good, like we're capable of beating all these teams, like for sure. I can say that undoubtedly, but when land comes, when the pressure comes, you need to just show up, you need to play like your best, and we didn't show up that day. Don't stop inspiring people. I think it's hard not to be disappointed, especially after like putting like all the time in. Um, I think like I haven't really digested. Like even now I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Like now I'm really like starting to feel it. Um, and T bro. Yeah, we did our best. <laughs> Wanna go tight? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. NT, bro. NT. I didn't even cry for my teammates yet. And <laughs> I'm crying for the camera. I tried, I swear I tried. <laughs> you know, and they're taking out the tournaments to two a year, and like we're gonna have one slot, and it's just like this is our chance to just show people, and it just, and we just embarrassed ourselves. You gotta just keep moving forward, keep getting better. And yeah, I, I think as a leader, like, you know, I'm holding a strong front for everyone. And then like, I come here and like, ah, like great, the waterworks. Um, but yeah, it's hard not to be disappointed, like for sure. So yeah. I'm like, nice one, vamos, jayo, all the three languages coming out, guys. I don't know what am I speaking already. <gasps> oh my god, it feels like 2019 to win one game, eh? Holy shit, guys. Played amazing tapioca. Five previous impacts 
we haven't played the second day because we won everything on the first day, right? So before the tournament, we were discussing, okay, guys, what are we going to do on Saturday? And our coach says, we're not going to do anything on Saturday. We're going to play. And this is what happened. So second day, we played against HSG. CS2, everything's fast, less of rounds. Now it's everybody's game. Honestly, I woke up and I was thinking, okay, if we lost Vertigo, which we won on OT, it would be just 0 2 to us, you know, and we would be out of the tournament. <laughs> anyway, anyway, okay. let's focus on HLF get too hype. Well, after we lost Overpass, we just went outside and we were just like, forget about it. We practice so much Ancient and we play so many officials in Ancient, so like, we're just, just a comfortable map for us. Feels like uncharted territory with HSG taking them this close. This is Robinson now. Oh! oh. The hill that ran both. And that is the end of that. It was very exhausting, but we did it. Thank God. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, not now, not now. Not now. We had it. You know, we had that game. That is the hardest part, you know, for any team to go through. I swear to God, I did everything I can. Let's go out there. Yeah, I would be s***ing if I would have. You're right. It's so close. I know. <laughs> so f***ing close. So close. So in 2024, I see a lot of things for his SG. But it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Now we need to rest a bit, and then after that, we, we have to keep running, guys, keep running. Next year, definitely going to be more even. I see big teams and new girls and new names that I didn't saw before doing a really good job and playing very well. My goal every year is to push the boundaries to play mixed. For me personally, it is the goal. That's what I've been doing every year, and I'm pretty sure that's what a lot of other women in the scene are also doing. Heading to 2024, the competition on women's scenes, as we may see, is like getting uh, bigger, stronger teams. So I hope more teams can uh, experience LAN because I was a completely different person than uh, I am right now because I have experience and everything. But without this experience, I think it will be a disaster. I see 2024 and even 2025 being like a great year for the female players and I feel like showing our skills and showing like how we can play CS can like have a positive impact to break this uh, gap between the male scene and to erase that, okay, he's a man, he's a woman. For us right now, it's just like, okay, he's our enemy and we need to win, that's all. This is the moment. It's time for the grand final. Lads had to get that reload in though, just about. And she's got a good time now. They're lining up. Take a ticket for Viku. They're going to go into the stack. And Anna is here to say hello. Disastrous strike. Destroying all of the dreams of Na'Vi. And they are not stopping. They are taking that first map. Help each other and stay strong and pick with each other. Don't be scared. Be brave at all times, okay? Okay. 13-0, please. G E B E B E B E <laughs> three on three, 19 seconds, they need to run and die, they need the lost players here, they need to run to their doom, Anna now the only one versus Piku of 13 HP, how about that for a one tap, they might just melt like chocolate, oh no, surely not Anna, a 12-0 half, no mercy whatsoever from Nigma Galaxy, the final boss for a reason. <laughs> Can there be any doubt that you are the best team right now? No doubt. Start in zero and on the grand final. I mean, we are on top of the world now, so the fall is going to be pretty high. But I don't expect us to fall anytime soon, honestly. That's my honest opinion. Mm, 
I think uh, because of ESL uh, leagues, tournaments, we are getting closer to uh, creating mixed teams, I would say. Um, I think the start of Impact definitely ignited the women's scene. I see a world where like, the longer Impact exists, the more closer we'll see someone being able to break, uh, break into the mixed scene. Right now, compared to two years ago, I do think that we're closer. I do think there's more women. I think people are taking it seriously. Uh, slowly and slowly, we can like we can do so so many great stuff to to break this uh, gap between the male scene. Definitely, we are closer than we've been like two years ago, and I'm really thankful for that because uh, without this uh, opportunity from ESL, we we would be in the same place and it would be really, really uh, sad. If um, initiatives continue to improve and we continue to make a step forward, I do see a world where we will meet that reality and it won't be um, a theory anymore, it'll be something that's real.